Providing mixed numbers today, the only thing you need to know is change them to improper fractions before we do anything. I will teach you three different methods. You will now know what they are. Little remix version coming up. Just the great eights in the house. Let me hear. What, what? All right. Now that I have your attention, let's talk about today's topic, grade eights. We will be dividing mixed numbers. In case you don't know what a mixed number is, I will show you right here. This is a great example of a mixed number. Four and two-fifths divided by one and a half. We will look at this question. We will answer it three different ways, and uh, you will pick your favorite method. And I'll give you a question. You'll answer it. Life's great. Okay, so uh, let's look. If you heard from my awesome Twinkle Twinkle Little Star rendition, and remember, you need to change all your mixed numbers to improper fractions first. We've learned this in previous lessons. We've learned this in previous grades. So this should be something I should be able to do with you very quick. Um, four and two-fifths change to an improper fraction. Well, we go four times five. It's 20 plus two equals 22. And the denominator stays the same, divided by uh, one and a half. One times two is two, plus one is three halves. So now we're going to use the number line method to divide 22 fifths divided by three halves. Um, the thing is, when we do the number line method, it's easiest if we change them to uh, common denominators here. So five and two, I can change them each to 10. By multiplying them by 2, 22 times 2 is 44. The reason we change them to a common denominator is just to uh, divide our number line easily. So 2 changes to 10 by multiplying by 5. 3 times 5 is 15. Okay, so we're actually dividing uh, 44 tenths divided by 15 tenths. Let's go to our number line here on this lovely E Pearson app. Um, so up here, I'm going to change this around. I want my minimum number to be 0, my maximum number to be 5. And the reason that is, is uh, if you look here, we're dividing 4 and 2 fifths. So the uh, biggest whole number after 4 is 5 divided by a half. So 44 tenths. Let's go divide our number line into tenths first. So we Hit this little three line button. Fraction, minimum, I want ticks to be at every tenth. Okay, so here you go. Here's our number line on the top. Divided zero to five. We are gonna go put a purple dot because it's my favorite color on 44 tenths. So we're gonna count uh, 44 ticks. And I'm, I could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. But I know that there's 10 ticks here. Another 10, so that's 20, 30. I get to here, I know it's 40, and I'm just going to go four ticks over. One, two, three, four. So right there, I'm going to go click and drag. Okay, so there is 44 tenths. Now, if we go back to the question, we are going to divide it by uh, one and a half, which was three halves, which turned out to be 15 tenths. So over here, I'm going to go back to my number line, and I'm going to take my purple here. And I'm going to jump by 15 tenths each time. So you got to drag this. There's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Hey, there's 15 tenths. So the beautiful thing about this E person is I can keep adding arrows until I go over. I don't want to go over the dot. Oh, that was too big. So guess what? Actually, if you look, it wasn't that much bigger. It's just by one tick. So let's erase that right now. So believe it or not, Grade eights, there's your answer. What? What's my answer? Well, um, let's look. How many jumps did we take? Two. So I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to write the number two. That's my however many jumps you took. That's the big number on the outside. Now we have this fraction. Let's take a look at the answer there. It's there for us. We just got to figure it out. So how many ticks do I have left to get to my purple dot? Well, one, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that goes on as my numerator, however many ticks we have left, 14. And how big was each jump we made here? If you remember, we jumped by 15, and that number becomes my denominator. So 4 and 2 fifths divided by 1 and a half is actually equal to 2 and 14 fifteenths. I want to quickly show you something here. Um, remember where we dragged this over? And I said it didn't work because it went past the dot. It only went one tick past the dot. So that's another way I could have figured out. Um, I knew this jump was 15. I was short one. So 15 subtract one is 14 fifteenths. Either way, however you got there, your answer should have been 2 and 14 fifteenths. Okay, so that's the number line method. Hopefully that uh, made sense to you. Let's take a look at another one. Invert and multiply. My personal favorite. So remember, my lovely twinkle twinkle rendition at the start said, uh, before you do anything, change them to improper fractions. So uh, I know that 4 and 2 fifths is actually 22 fifths. Now, I want to get rid of this divide sign in the invert and multiply way. So I'm going to change it to multiplication. And now I know that one and a half is actually three uh, halves right here. But remember, when we invert and multiply, we learned that I'm not going to write three halves. I need to flip it. So now I'm going to write it as two uh, thirds. Now, is there any friendly numbers here, top and bottom? Not that I can see, so we got to multiply. Let's multiply. 22 times 2, 22 doubled is 44. Okay. And 5 times 3 is 15. There's your answer, grade 8. 44 fifteenths. Now... Let's just take this improper fraction and change it back to a mixed numeral. Well, how many times does 15 go into 44 without going over? I can count by 15. It's 15, 30, 45. Uh, it's one too many. So I know 15 goes into 44 twice without going over. And then from 30 to 44, that's 14 left over. And my denominator stays the same. So my answer for this in the invert and multiply uh, way is 2 and 14 fifteenths. Hey, guess what? It was 2 and 14 fifths using the number line method as well, correct? So last one, let's go to common uh, denominators and uh, we'll go from there. So back to that lovely twinkle twinkle rendition, change all my mixed numbers to improper fractions. So by now, we now know that 4 and 2 fifths is actually 22 fifths. And we're going to divide that by 1 and a half, which is 3 halves. Now remember, we learned this method last lesson. Um, common denominators, in this case our denominators are 5 and 2. Uh, what can I change those to? Um, I know that 5 and 2, I can change them to 10. So I multiply the 5 by 2, that gets 10. Multiply the 22 by 2, that becomes 44 tenths. Over here, I multiply the 2 by 5 to get to 10, to get a common denominator. And I multiply the 3 by 5, that gives me 15. Now I'm just going to add a new screen here and rewrite this so it's a little easier to see. So now... We have 44 um, tenths divided by um, 15 tenths, right? Beautiful. Okay. Now remember what we learned. I'm going to switch colors here. In the uh, common denominator method, we can cancel out the tenths. And uh, I see I'm running out of time. I'm going to go here, pause this, and give you back talk to talk to you.